Hey guys, so I don't normally do these kind of videos, but I figured I'd give it a shot. Uh, and if I like doing it, then maybe I'll do it more in the future. I don't do unboxing videos, and I'm not really a cell phone or smartphone reviewer. This here, I bought on Amazon for $70. It is a Blue Studio Mega. I just needed a cheap smartphone for an upcoming project of mine that I'm doing. And this I bought to experiment for that project. And let's get going, shall we? So like I said, this is the Blue Studio Mega. Uh, I bought off Amazon for about $70. I just needed a cheap smartphone for a future project. So let's just get right into it. Uh, it is a six inch HD 18 by nine wide screen. It has quad core 1.3 gigahertz processor. 13 and a two megapixel main camera plus flash. I think that's what that means. Eight megapixel selfie camera plus flash. 16 gigabytes of memory, one gigabyte of RAM, fingerprint sensor, Android 8.1 Oreo Go Edition. Honestly, I don't know what this means. Like I said, I'm not really a cell phone, smartphone um, reviewer. So, all right, let's just open the box up right now. This looks like the phone here wrapped up. Let's just take this baby out. Oh man, there we go. I got it in like a black or this like a space gray looking thing. Color doesn't matter to me. Like I said, I just needed this for a different type of project. We opened the box here. Um, maybe I should have gotten like a white background so it'd be easier to see this cell phone here. It comes with a cell phone case, an interesting looking case. I don't know if I'm even gonna use that. Uh, let's get rid of this stuff here. It comes with charger. This, I guess this is the little brick for it. I'm having a little trouble opening it. Comes with charger, headphones. This is uh, the plug. And I think that's it. There's a little SIM card key in there. Let's get rid of all this stuff. And the instruction booklets. Oh, it also comes with a screen protector. That's really interesting. Phone that comes with it. And it's like tempered glass, too. Honestly, I don't even know if I'd use it, but. That's what that is. All right, so that's the contents of the box. Ah. You know, for $70, they're coming with a screen protector and headphones. That's not bad. That's not bad. All right, so we have this stuff here. Um, let's just get right into the phone. I don't need this or this. I don't really need it now. Let's just hold on to this. Let's put this aside. All right, let's see here. Oh, that's always satisfying, taking this little piece off. Uh, the back part also, I don't know if... There we go, all right. So here's the phone. It kind of reminds me of like the Samsung phones. For my purposes, I'm not even gonna use this as a smartphone, so I don't really need a lot of the special features that smartphones have. Let's boot this up right here. That took a really long time like a long press, but I just needed it so I can access some apps and also uh, it just be kind of cheap. So I could use it as a prop for something and a few other things, but I'll get into that in another video. There's a boot up tone. BLU, bold like us. All right, let's see. English, we're gonna start. All right, so we're finally at the home screen. The touch of the, it's not as responsive as like a standard, let's just say Samsung or Android device. I have a Samsung, so in comparison, it's not, it's like a little laggy, but honestly, like for a $70 phone, that's not bad. Like, it doesn't feel terrible. Uh, it comes with all these apps here, but I don't, I'm not going to use any of these. Let's see, let's go with what's important, the camera. Gotta test the camera out. Let's go into a selfie mode. Uh, I don't even know, this lighting is like that. All right, let's see, selfie camera. Hmm, that was an interesting noise. Uh, selfie, not terrible, not terrible. Um, let's see, do they even have any other modes here? It just looks like they have a video and a camera mode. Uh, HDR, the flash stuff. Um, 
let's go into the camera settings. Uh, they have some different color effects, white balance stuff, zero shutter delay, face detection, self timer. Uh huh. Video quality. Video quality is fine, high, medium, or low. Uh, I don't know what that means. Well, let's just go to fine. I guess that's better than high. Uh, I think this might be a 1080p camera. Let me just take a look here. Let's just do one of these. Like, I'll, I'll click record. And I'll do a little selfie recording here. I hope it looks good. I think it's 1080p at 30 frames a second. And this might be something that I'll use this phone for. And yeah, let's see how that looks. It does have an interesting sound for, uh, for that stuff. All right, I'm gonna click play and then maybe we can test audio as well. And I'll do a little selfie recording here. I hope it looks good. I think it's 1080p at 30 frames a second. And this might be something that I'll use this phone for. There's a and, yeah. Let's see how that looks. There's a weird hissing sound. And I'll do a I don't know if that's from the recording. I hope. But it this uh, it sounds like to be it sounds like a weird hiss. Um, I'm gonna test the audio. All oh, right, I'm not connected to Wi-Fi. I'm, I I should have done that in the beginning. You know what? I'm gonna connect to Wi-Fi. All right, so I'm accessing YouTube right now. I'm just gonna go to my channel. Alright, let's hear. Let's do a little listen. The sound is a little tinny but not terrible, not terrible. I'm gonna try with the headphones, the provided headphones. They do feel cheap, I will say that. They feel like really inexpensive headphones. But once again, I have to, I have to say $70, not terrible. If you wanted like a backup phone or something, maybe it's something you'll consider. Um, I just noticed here, it's speakers on the bottom. It's a USB, not USB-C, on top, and also the headphone jack on top. All right, let me listen to the, in the headphones. Yeah, not the best sound, but not bad for included headphones. It's not bad. Like I said, the touch is a little like delayed here. You see that? It's a little like not as responsive as uh as like the higher end phones, but I have to I have to say again, seventy dollars, not terrible. It's not bad. Uh alright, well, All right, I'm just going to take these out real fast. Yep, there's a little, slight lag to the phone, but not bad. All right, so this is the Blue Studio Mega. Uh, I'm, I think, honestly, this will probably fulfill the purposes I need it for. Uh, like I said, I'm not a cell phone reviewer, so I don't know what I'm going to have to go through for cell phone reviewing. This is not really a cell phone review. There's more of an unboxing for this. Um, but, oh, what just happened? Oh, you know what? I don't know if it just died on me. I don't know what that was. Ooh. Was it out of battery? I don't I I didn't check the charge to be honest. Did my it might have this this either just died on me right now or it's out of battery. Oh, it's installing security update. All right, never mind. I thought I thought like I was just about to talk, you know, give give, give this phone some props and it just restarted on me, but it's installing updates. So um, $70 guys, um, if you want it for like a backup phone or something, I'm going to use it for a different purpose. Like I just need something that's basically a tablet, um, in a cell phone 
I just needed access to apps, basically, and I needed something small, compact, cheap. I'll talk about that in another video, what I'm going to be using this for, but uh, that's the Blue Studio Mega. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.